The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman on this beautiful uh, Wednesday, the uh, 5th of June. We're looking at uh, the Dow down 131 at 38,580. It's just really struggling. We remain short the Dow on the shorter term. Uh, this is going to be an interesting uh, arching over process. We'll see what happens. In the meantime, back at the ranch, the technicals are all uh, quite weak. And we're just waiting to see whether or not this becomes a peak A in the next couple of days. That's not the issue. The issue is, is there going to be a rollover that takes out key support at about 38,300 and we're uh, 38,350. We're trading right now 38,573. I think there will be an arching over, but you never know. Day is young. Anything can happen. Look at the S&P. The S&P is holding very nicely considering. <clears throat> Look at this. Um, it's trading up $10 at 53.01, 53.41.88 was all-time high. We've been going for about uh, eight sessions now, uh, still up in the higher range. The 9 period moving average is over the 14, and uh, the MACD's weak. The on-balance volume is a little overbought. The stochastic's weak at 58%. The relative strength index is in the kind of the middle range, nothing to see there. Uh, the weekly chart is still very strong. Uh, we'll see what happens. Um, it, it's really going to be – my bias now is to be saying that there is some weakness coming into the S&P over the next uh, – this week we should see it. How, in fact, any real bounce uh, unfolds and is sustained is going to be really important. And you keep getting this diversion. Look, now the Dow's down 142. S&P is still up nine. I mean, this, you know, what, what are we talking about? We're talking about the QQQ, which has the um, has the semiconductors in it, which is being helped. It's up 3.35 or 457.62. It's a work in progress. Let me just show you this here when I say work in progress. Look, we had to wait and wait and wait for the Dow. Let's go to the Dow right here. I N D U. This is using those three lines. Big thick gray line is the price of whatever we're following. In this case, it's the Dow. The um, it's a daily chart. The green is the nine period moving average, which is green because it's over the fourteen period moving average. It goes pink when it goes under it. And I said it'll be a, it'll take time for it to pull back from the forty thousand and seventy seven all time high. To, to see the nine period moving average turn pink. Well, that's exactly what we've seen. But wait a minute. If you go to the SPY, it's not even close. The nine period moving average is still way above the 14. So using just this tech, one technical indicator, I, I often refrain from waiting for that confirmation. I try to get it because my thing is to try my best to time turns out outer points. We've done that for decades. Uh, we've managed to get most of the turns. We are still holding the low from March of 2020 in the Dow and the March of um, October 2022 in the Dow. Uh, that's uh, how we, we keep positions and we try to time them. But at the same time, <clears throat> in this turn, this exact turn from the 20th of May at leg D, they went to a peak D at the exact high, 40,000. Um, sorry, 24,000. Why am I saying that? In the Dow, that you go from 40,077 to this pullback, that's one thing. But look at the S&P from the high that was made right there on the 20th and 21st, taking uh, pushing to highs, and it went to the uh, uh, 531.52 level. Look at this at 529. That nine period moving average is still holding well. So if I was to time it, I'd have to wait. I prefer to try to get the outer edges, the turns, because if you get the turns, you get you get a lot of safety factor because it means that that whole wiggling that, that takes place after the turn or after the bottom, the turn at the top or turn at the bottom, uh, it, it allows you to to survive that, right? So that's why I try to get those turns, which we've tried here again. So now what we're looking at is. For the SPY to go negative, uh, that's the S&P, but in this case, we're going to the SPY. 
This is the uh, this is the S and P Spider Fund, 500, and we're looking at this. I think it would probably have to go down to 522 to actually get that nine period moving average to turn pink. So you've lost quite a lot of points, but in fact, then you get a little confirmation there. But wait a minute, the QQQ, look at this, it's still rallying. Look at the SMHs. The SMHs actually held the nine period moving average and have bounced. And yet at the same time, you've got only a couple, it's fewer and fewer in the semiconductor index that is really leading the charge to the upside. NVIDIA, look at that. Um, it, it had, earlier on, it had a round number high. Now it's taken that out. It was 11.84. Now it's at 11.94.24. Good action. Very good action, right? Let's go to the IWM. So this is this is quite of a, a, a mystery to me. I want you to see the IWM, the Russell 2000, start to garner strength, to start to show some leadership, but it couldn't do that. So we took our profit, we took our money, and we ran. And we're waiting. Now we're waiting to come back in again for the IWM. But wait a minute. So let's just get out of this. That's using the nine-period moving. So you've got the Dow and the IWM. They're the only ones that have got the nine-period moving average week. Let's go to the um, – yeah, so that's QQQ right there, IWM. We just did that. I went to the XLK. It's also strong. Look at this, XLK. Nice bounce. Not as bounce as strong as you would think. Because it's the full tech sector in the S and P, so the all-time high was right here. Did I not type it in? No, I didn't. Two seventeen point sixty-two. That was on the twenty-third. Two sixteen point seventy-two. There we go. Two one six point seventy-two. I think that that was the five. Five. Uh, I'll come back to that. Yeah, five twenty-three. I believe it was five twenty-three. So how about that? Um, a bounce, but it's only a bounce at this particular point. The nine period moving average is over the fourteen, but there's a chance that if the XLK actually takes out two oh nine in the next couple of days, then you're going to start to see the rollover. Until then, it's a work in progress. That's what I keep saying: work in progress. All right, I need to do this. Um, gold. GC up 14, uh, up nine. It's come back from the high, got repelled at the pink nine period moving average at 2356. Silver, silver continuous contract at the low of the day, 29.65, up 0.03, um, making lower lows and lower highs. High grade copper, high grade copper, um, up 0.01 at 4.55, making lower lows and lower highs. Let's look at FCX. Yeah, look at that. That was a very big candle yesterday. It was a Chapman Wave uh, Red Roman candle. If at any point in the next two sessions, um, Freeport McMarron starts to trade, trading right now up 13 cents at 49.83. But if it holds for an hour at 49.16 or less, uh, there's a good chance it's going to test yesterday's low of 48.41. Uh, um, what about SCCO? SCCO, yep, same thing, lower lows, lower highs. Made a peak G right there at 130. No, it was just under. It was 129.79 on the 20th. Okay, so I've got that out the way. Just wanted to quickly show you crude oil. Crude oil is up 15 cents. UNG, we were talking about that yesterday. Just stuck in that range right there. Oh, talk about stuck in the range. I'll be back in a moment. I want to look at um, Palantir and Tesla. This is something I discussed the other day about being stuck in a range. We'll be back and see what happens. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. 
Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm going to look back. So um, quite a number of questions have come in. I'd just like to go through this one at a time. The first one I had was, I, I um, well, let me just see. So it's about Ver Verizon. So I've been looking at this for some time. I've shown it here periodically. And then I just put it aside and I say, you know, I just, it's at a high, in the high range, that is, uh, the 200 period moving average and the week chart is up at 44. It's been trading up to the 43 area between 39 and 40, uh, 43 for quite some time. The U shape pattern has become a second U, so that becomes a W, potential W formation. So um, a person asked about, buying it because he loves the dividend. He's got some, he's had it for quite some time, and he wants to add to it. So because you've got it and you've had it for a long time and you're used to the whole idea of your I'm about to... <coughs> Gosh, is that the same time every day, 20, 20 past 10? All right, well, this is it. The, the uh, excuse me, 41.44 down 13 cents on Verizon. So the whole area, you've got Verizon, you've got telephone, uh, telephone's been moving up very steadily. If you look at the monthly chart, it's horrible. But the last, uh, the weekly chart and the monthly chart over the last, uh, uh, I'd say, uh, four months or f five months, that's really a co quite quite different. Even the daily chart. If you're looking at, um, go to Comcast, CMCSA, and I'm just thinking about cable cutting. That's really what I'm thinking. In fact, the Consumer Report this week had a whole. They do this often, but once again, just what, what you should do. But in the meantime, back at the end, I think most people who have done the cord cutting, it's just some of us, us old fogies that don't really want to go to sling and all these different things that you have, like my son does and my daughter, they just go to all these different mediums. and It's, it's very easy. They just do it. Some of us, it's a little bit more difficult, right? So I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to just do it based on the chart. Forget about everything else. If I do it based on the chart, the nine period moving average for the very first time in a long time, I'm talking about since 2021, when it was up in the uh, 55, 60 area, Verizon for the first time, the nine period moving average has crossed positive. The weekly chart has been chopping around and yet survived all the pullbacks by, by having a green nine period moving average. The daily chart 
just stuck its head above that left side high this uh, today, and that was the high of that ugly candle where there was news at the open on the 22nd of April. It opens at 41.40. It goes to 41.64. Whoops. And then it goes down to the 38s, and that's where it closes. But it's been filling in this rectangle in a left side, right side price time match very nicely. So here's what I'm going to say. You're in it already. I'm going to suggest that you cut, you come back in it to add. Sorry, you add to it, but you add in two ways. You you add by starting a position now of the part that you wanted to add back. I'm going to say split it. In. You can either fuss and say I'm going to split it in two because the last high was up at 43.40. Was it 43? 43.42? That was on the 4th of April. Uh, that became a peak A and is still an A because it didn't take out. Oh, it did. No. Oh, it did. This is a brand new A. Okay, good. So what we're looking at here is that it's now trying to head towards the higher hills. And that's really important. So either you can say I'm going to fuss. I'm going to get into an, my new position, my add-on position, and I'm going to split it. I'm going to get in right here at 41.44. And I'm going to try to get in again at about 40.45. It's only a dollar difference, but there's a big difference here because if it stalls, if you get your full position and it stalls and then it starts to take out 40.20 support, you can actually go quite a bit down in this rectangle. The rectangle is no, it's not a cup. It's a rectangle. It means the outer boundaries are what you have to uh, respect. That's number one. Number two is um, you could start a position now and either say, I'm going to add to it, it's 41.45, I'm going to add to it around about 41 or just under 41. And this particular position, uh, the second position, that one I'm going to have a stop of about a point or so, something like that. Or I'm getting this, adding this, I'm adding a new position, split position, and I'm going to add to it higher up. Why? Because I want to tackle that 43 area because it'll help the weekly and it'll help as soon as it can get to about 43. 68, 43, 75, that 200 period moving average of 44.14 becomes a magnet and jump, it grabs the price. So that's the one thing. Now, because you're a long term buy and holder, I'm going to say there's something else you might want to do is you just add your position right now. You can even just keep a little bit left to add to it later on, but you're getting into the second position. You don't, you don't fuss at all. So this is the decision to make. Why? Because as long as that nine period moving average in the weekly chart is holding well, it gives it upside lift and it gives it downside support all the way to about 39. This is a worst case basis on a weekly basis, a weekly close. So I like it. Um, I don't quite understand it. I've spent too much time thinking about cutting the cords and all that stuff. But I think that uh, it's a major company. And I like it, and I I agree with you. I like that dividend part of it. So yes, so I'm suggesting that in your case, you might want to just say I'm going in for that the kill. This is that second part of it, and I'm going to have, and you can just decide whether or not you want to stop. Sometimes I know you put a stop in. Sometimes you say I'm going to give be some, be flexible before I even think about a stop. But so either you in. Or you're going to split it and you're getting into your most of the position now, or half of the position, and then the other half you're just waiting for a bit of a pullback. Why? Because I want to see how that 40.20 area, how that really holds if there's any uh, stronger dip. And uh, if it starts to move up, you can add that. So I think I, I got a feeling you're going to lead to getting in. So that's the way it is. Okay. Now, and, and this is not for everybody because um, that weekly chart has a cup formation and it says uh, that that area going to 39 is is the vulnerability because it's taken too much time for the arch on the right this is the week that it should have been going up into the 43 area so it's taking a little too much time that's what i'm saying okay okay enough with that now i wanted to show you something else uh, so um i spoke about this the other day and and the question came up about palantir and i said you know there are the believers and there are non-believers the way I'm looking at it, I'm just treating it as a chart. And the chart says it's got this rectangle formation, which is making an arch formation. If it can close above this high for two out of three sessions, 
And that's the high of the 17th of May, Palantir PLTR, trading at 22.47 of 37 right now. 22.17, if we can close above that for two out of three sessions, and today it's already at 22.47, that's a good sign. It is a leg D. So let me just do this again for you because Chapman Wave methodology, this is your starting point right here. So every peak above gets gets notated. So that 30, the 20.33 low of the 19th of April says that's a peak A, that's a peak B, that's a peak C. Then it pulls back sharply, not sharp enough to take out the 20.33 low. It held the 20, 20 point, uh, 20 point 50. So that's another A and another B. And then it pulls back again, that's another A. Wow, this becomes a C because it's above that B and this has become a leg D. So it's a little bit mature. Now, I do need to talk about the sideways pattern. Basil Chapman, I'll be back in a moment. Down to 114, S&P's up 18. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Tiger Technicians Hour is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. 
All right, so just let me go back to this balance here for a minute. So there are believers and non-believers. I, I'm not in the camp of either. I'm, I'm looking at it every once in a while. I get something that is really cogent because they they seem to have got uh, orders and they've got the military. I think it's, uh, it's viable, absolutely. But I need to see the proof of the pudding, and that is price movement. So as it stands right now, the gaps to the upside one at a time should be uh, should be filled. But more importantly, you see the way the price came down sharply and the nine period moving average held. That says by Friday, if the, uh, let me give you the price that I'm looking at right now. If it's able just to tag once, it's at 22.50 right now, the highest 22.63. If it's able to tag the 23s. In other words, if it just gets into the 23s, it doesn't have to close there. It means that that nine period moving average is going to start to expand in the daily, and the nine period moving average in the weekly is cons consistently above the 14 period, the black 14 period moving average, and the weekly is still leg D, a peak D, but it's still very strong. So as I'm looking at it, the thing that worried me before was the stochastic was so weak in the weekly chart, and the on balance volume wasn't great, and the MACD was negative. Yet the price is holding, remember the, the uh, tool of the indicator of last resort, that's the 9 period, 914 period moving average, holding very well. So I do like it. And what I'd said before is as it stands right now, it seems to have tremendous support uh, above 20, about 20.50 in the 2050 to 21 area. That's the most important thing. So this is a little different. What I'd said was sometimes you can go side, not you, the price can go sideways a lot longer than you anticipate. And here's an example. Here's Tesla. So today, for the first time in a long time, the nine period moving average in over a month, the nine period moving average has turned pink. The day's young. Anything can happen. But you can see maybe it's deflecting lower in the weekly chart. So this is different. This has got the same rectangle formation, except now it's starting to arch. Look visually, you can see there's an arch uh, unfolding here. And that makes support at 170 to 169, really imperative to hold. That's what I wanted to point out there. And if there's a move at any point, in the, all, all through Ju June, if there is a two-day close above this high right here, that's the high of the uh, 21st of May, that's 186.88. Uh, if there is a close above that, two closes ab above it. In other words, the bar breaks above, closes above, and then the following session, it has to be two consecutive ones. It doesn't give it all back, it holds. That says to me, now you're going to the upper band. But in the meantime, it's just stuck in a range. Remember, a range is what we've been discussing. So Palantir is a different because it's breaking to the upside of that barrier. Uh, Tesla is starting to roll over a little bit because today's the first time it's gone pink in the nine period moving average, but it's that weekly chart that did not Use the opportunity to cross positive. That's it. Just be a little careful. And that means sometimes the price can hold steady sideways using up technical strength and yet not price breakdown price wise. All right. That was that, 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 that. Another question came in. Uh, oh, DDD. Yeah, I saw this late yesterday. That DDD, uh, 3D system. Now, this has been on my list for my subscribers for some time, uh, our screamer list. I've had it here just sitting there saying at some point it's going to go on attention. If you look at that monthly chart, it is just horrible. This is once at 56.50 in February of 2021, slumps down to the threes, and here it is at 4.23. It was tootling along yesterday at 3.40, and look, here it is at 4.23. And the open price is at $3.83. This is a spectacular intraday move. If you look at the, uh, let me go to the 120 minute chart. Look at this. Look, that, that has gone its strength. If you're looking at the intraday, D, 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 triple D, look at that. It, it gapped up. It's filled the gap, taken a long time, and now it's broken above it. This is very good action. There are, there are believers coming in here. So 3D systems is now in play. That doesn't mean to say that it couldn't uh, suddenly fill some of the gap. But I want to see that buying keeps coming in into tomorrow. And it'll say, you know what? It's now in play. 
it's garnering attention and that's really what you want it wasn't doing that before so a question came in could i go to the uh, um intraday yeah look at the spectacular leg a in the in the five and ten minute chart broken to a new recovery high on the day it says that the 30 uh, 53 34 um uh, let me just do this right here there so you've got you've got the barrier you've got the the borders uh, 5297 was the pink nine period exponential moving average that sorry that was the pink because it's pink I've got it as a this is the horizontal level of a rectangle that I had done I drawn back in uh, May uh, the, the 24th or so of May I said that this narrow rectangle is really important and the midpoint is 52. Uh, 97 is going to come into play many times over the next couple of weeks, and it has. And the upper one was 50, uh, 53, 34. We haven't got there yet, but I wouldn't be surprised if that's going to be in play. So as I'm looking at this, this is that rotation that I keep talking about. And that's why I'm saying I don't see a, a kind of a, a crash scenario in the market at this particular point. What I do see, and it's very interesting that I, I'm seeing it, um, is that every almost every day it's been a different index. Look how the semiconductors were struggling for a while. And then all of a sudden, the semiconductors are the new darlings because it's almost, uh, is it an all-time high? Um, the SMH is trading up, uh, let me see, 251.04 uh, up 8.54. That's a real squeeze. So that's really helping the E-mini. And the E-mini is trading up 25 at 5,330 right now. This is looking very good. Single leg A to the upside. You're going to have a little bit of a dip at some point. But now that the nine period moving average is to, has turned positive in the 10-minute chart, let's see this whole 10-minute chart. Because if that turns green, there's a chance that we could get buying for a chunk of the day in the selective, in the E-mini. So we're going to be watching this very closely. Okay, let's get back to our story here. Um, yeah, so I, 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 Rochelle, I see a, a GM for good morning, but I'm not sure it's a good morning. It could be General Motors. I was impressed when I was looking at General Motors over the last two days, how it had, it almost looks like the E-mini, right? You made your peak D and you pull back sharply and you've streamed up. You haven't got a new recovery high. But so far, General Motors is at the upper end of the range. This is doing very nicely. And I'm a little surprised because the, the um, everything, I mean, I'm, I'm seeing advertising now for sales, especially sedans, not the SUVs as much as sedans. Um, it's like they're trying to get rid of these and people want SUVs and they're not buying sedans. I don't know. Anyway, so I'll be right back. Dow's down 74. S&P is up 27. Another divergence. The other day, the S&P was weak and the Dow was strong. I'll be right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. 
Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee, so what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. The mention CRDO is Credo Technology, trading at 26.86 up a dollar 18. Let me just do this here. Um, so this kind of fits in the category. Let me just do this A, B, that's a C right there, very easy. C goes to a D, goes to an E, okay. And this goes in the weekly chart, Ugh. okay, that's a single leg A, and then it continues A, B, then it redoes this, A and B right here, A, B, this is the weekly chart. Then it goes to a C, D, E, F. And this looks like, well, this is one of those things where you say, is this an old G or a brand new A? And there's nothing you can do. You have to do the, the daily first. But at this particular point, you've got no choice but to have an alternate count. So this is acting really well. It's, it's at all-time high, um, within a pennies of an all-time high, 25.89. Yes, this is very, it's kind of tough at this point after that huge move up and it's, it's consolidated so nicely. Where do you get in? Well, if you really like the stock, Credo uh, Technology, um, having gone from the sevens to where it is now, 25, that's only um, four times, uh, you know, that's a 400-fold increase from the 200-period moving average that it held back in October. Um, I, these, these stocks tend to have greater percentage gains over a period of time. So I like this. It's really tough to say we'll get into it now. If you're in it, that's great. But I would look at it. I, I wouldn't expect the gap at, at this particular point to be taken out the 2140 low. I think that it could go one third of the way to 23. So it's a 2590. So if, if you're interested in this one, uh, give me a yell. We'll look at it together uh, to see if you want to add to it or if you want to get in in the 23s. I'm just putting it on a note here because I've got a number of stocks that I am that I am making a note of because we've raised cash and I want to put that cash to work because I think um, there are going to be some really good buys. And they're going to be good buys in new stocks as well as the oldies. So at this particular point, um, yeah, so that's what I wanted to mention there. And then, yeah, GM, you are in it. I thought so. That's why I decided I would look at it. Um, GMs are holding really well. And I'm, I'm kind of surprised when I looked at it th two, three days ago as it was climbing higher. I thought, what is going on with GM because of their product lineup? This uh, this is favorable. Look at that nine period moving average in the weekly chart. So this is one that I'm putting on my list to say, despite everything I'm thinking, the price is saying I am holding really well. I'm holding way better than Ford. I'm holding better than Toyota Motors, different kind of a company. Uh, making it on the 200 period moving average had a spectacular move up to the 250s. Now it's at 207. It's a 20% uh, discount uh, from where it was. 
but it's a peak D in the monthly chart and a peak D in the day in the weekly. So this could last a little bit longer. Let's see how the 207 level holds. So out of those ones that I just mentioned, I did say Honda Motor Company, HMC, HMC. Yeah, making lower lows. Um, yeah, I think General Motors is the one that acts just on a purely visual basis. Technically, it looks it looks the best of, of the ones that I just mentioned. Okay, so a couple of questions came in. Would I do this? So we were looking at CRISPR yesterday. So I said CRISPR has had a very strong pullback from its most recent high up in the 90s. Um, it's acting very well, and it's got a left side, right side price time match. And that time match says it could go to the 63 area, and that would take it to about next week, maybe midweek. So I'm one step at a time. The first one is 61 is the price that I'd be looking at. But it does say Chapman Wave inside a wedge target repellent line. This is this dash green one right here, right here. So, yes, I just wanted to follow that through. I couldn't remember if I had completed the whole thought about it. I did like it as a, a kind of a buy and hold. And someone had said it's not the top draw, it's not the bottom draw, it's in the middle draw. <laughs> yeah, the buy and hold. That's what I'm looking at. Um, so within that context, let me just do a couple of things right now. Within the biotechs, I have a whole bunch that just like A, D, A, M, A. These things just pop up and I look at them and I say, can you can you buy them off their big move? This Adma Biologics is trading right now at, at $10.19, up 10 cents. I, it was on my list a couple of times. It had this Chapman Wave instant restart. I thought, can I really, for subscribers, just get it at 9 And now here it is at $10.20. It just cre creeps all the way up, walking the nine-period moving average. And look at this weekly chart. It's spectacular. There's a beautiful instant restart, uh, leg D in the uh, monthly chart. So this is a a Adma Biologics. Uh, I got a bunch of these things. What was the other one that I was looking at uh, is that SKWD? I don't know if this is in the right area. SKWD. Sky, Sky Specialty Insurance. This is what this is one. This came up uh, as a screamer for a different reason. Um, ACIU, ACIU. Ah, AV Immune SA Biotech. Look at that. Look at these gaps. It's totally long in the twos. It just gaps up into the threes. Pulls back. Pulls back. Caps up into the fours, and there it is. Uh, it's pulling back a little bit today, down three cents at 4.59. But look at that 200 period moving average. So I'm getting a lot of these. How you trade them is going to be very important. But I, I, I've got a little practice sessions over the last couple of days going for the different ones. I want to see if I'm able to do that as the old screamers that we used to have. We just buy it and you. If you get it, then you want to raise the stop and take profits as it moves and try to keep a core position. Um, we'll see if we're able to do that. So I just needed to just talk market-wise right now. The way the market is moving, let me go to the S&P for the moment, SPX.X there. So the S&P making almost a cup formation. It's kind of a, more like a, a wedge. It's like the falling axe formation. Um this is good action at the high of the day, up 26 at uh, 53.17. The nine period moving average is still very strong over the 14. The weekly chart is still strong. So even though we, we did uh, take small position with a very tight stop um, on the short side, and I'm absolutely sure that this is going to be taken out, um, it was very close to failing two days ago. And even yesterday wasn't great. But it did okay at the end. Today, follow through is impressive. And that's the reason why I'm saying I think this is becoming a, ro a, a rolling correction. It's a high-level correction. And within that, at the top of the range, you're just rotating so that some of the stocks that should have been great suddenly pull back and, and had really quite sharp pullbacks. And then others that looked as if they were going to fail just held beautifully. I mean, and then you've got stocks like a Caterpillar. I mean, look at this Caterpillar uh, trading at in the 380 area, all-time high. Suddenly, we're looking at it at 327. Look, dreaded H pattern. So even with a high level, look at the monthly chart. That's a high level consolidation. 
but that's a pretty decent pullback. Going from 382, let me just give you the exact figure, 382.01 in a week of the 12th of April. And here we are at 327. <laughs> that is 60 months of 20% correction in a caterpillar. So that's what we're looking at here. It's kind of, it's tricky. Let's put it that way. I'll be right back. Tigers, you've seen his show, you've learned from his webinars, and now it's time to trade side by side with him. Join Larry Pesavento for the second month of his new service, Live Trading Fridays. Hosted in the Tiger's Den trading room on Discord, Larry has analyzed a number of commodities and indices, placed profitable trades, and explained his method. Whether you're new to trading or are a seasoned market veteran, trading side by side with a titan like Larry Pesavento will only enhance your game. Utilizing Fibonacci retracements and ABCD structures, Larry provides decades of insight into when to place trades, when to exit, when to ignore, and so much more. Learning is doing. So if you're serious about learning technical analysis and becoming profitable in this uncertain market, Live Trading Fridays is a must-have tool in your arsenal. Live Trading Fridays occur every second and fourth Friday of the month, so trading events for this month are May 10th and 24th. If you're serious about trading, we'll see you there. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Guys, yeah, so we're looking for, for instance, here's Teledyne. Teledyne off its high. It's trading at 392. Today's down 280. Um, MU, uh, Micron, um, off its all time high, but not by much. And so it's running very nicely. It's up $1.30. NVIDIA did make, it did almost, and then it did. Is it almost making you high yesterday, uh, two days ago, and then yesterday it did, and today it followed through, and 1199.50 is the high. Uh, this is one of the great companies, and it's, it's showing that right now. It just keeps coming back. So with that said, what I want you to uh, go through is just real quickly, as we're wrapping up for this uh, final segment, on this Wednesday, um, I just wanted to say that this rotation is very specific. You've got the Dow quite weak. You've got the uh, off, off its all-time highs. You've got PAVE. This is the inf Global Infrastructure and Development ETF. Look at the monthly chart. It's at a peak D. It's near the all-time highs. Look at the weekly arching over. But if you look at the daily, that's quite a big pullback, and that kind of rep is represented by Caterpillar or Deer. So it's very specific, and even within some uh, areas, 
uh, stocks that are kind of in the same category like a DNA and, and a caterpillar, although one's more infrastructure and the other is uh, commodity related, um, they're not doing well at this particular point. They did. So all I'm saying is this is a very specific time, and that's the reason why I think we're rolling over, we're correcting sideways. And how we can come out of it is going to be important. So just to, to uh, emphasize the S&P right now, what would happen is if the S&P makes a new all-time high above 5341.88, that, in, that increases the strength of the nine over the 14 period moving average. So for it to fail, something has to happen by Friday's close if the S&P is to go to about 52, even if it doesn't go to the, the, the low of the 31st at 5191. It would have to get down to the 5250 area um, to really do some damage. So far, holding well is more consolidation than anything else. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Check out more people daily newsletter. See you tomorrow.